In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a product slider in Elementor. So this is how our product slider will look like after we have finished creating it. You can click on the arrows to scroll from left to right or from right to left. You can also make it scroll automatically just like that. I'll also show you how you can make your product pause upon hovering on it. To achieve this in Elementor, you need the pro version of Elementor, but we are not going to use that. I will show you how you can achieve this completely for free. So, if you want to learn how to create a product slider in Elementor, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Sonic here at Tickle Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So, if you are new here, consider subscribing. That's it. Let's jump into the video. So to create a product slider like this one, we are going to install a plugin. And to install a plugin, I go to the back end of my website. Then I go over to plugins, click on add new. And the set plugins, I search for wool enter. And this is the plugin I'm going to use wool enter, WooCommerce Elementor add-ons plus builder by hash teams i click on install now it is installed i go ahead and activate the plugin is successfully activated next i go over to the front end of my website so i just click on the name of my website then i go ahead and click on edit with elementor my page is open with elementor i scroll down to this section that is where i have featured download this way I want to place my slider. So what I'm going to do is I just go ahead and remove what I already have here. And I go over to set widgets and search for products. And this is the widget I'm going to use. WL Universal Product Layout. That is Woolenter Universal Product Layout. I grab it and drop it under featured downloads. And defaultly it will give me three columns. I need to change the layout from default to slider. I can also make my thumbnails same height box by toggling this on so that everything will be of the same height. Next, I click on query settings. The first thing I'm going to do under query settings is filter by. So I drop down the arrow and you can choose any of these options. And since I'm looking for featured downloads, I'll just go ahead and choose featured products. Since my website is about digital products, next is product limit. Currently, it is set to three. You can choose whatever number you want. For this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and use 10. Next is product categories. In here, you can go ahead and choose whatever categories you want to be displayed right here as your slider. So whichever one you want, just go ahead and click on it just like that. But for this tutorial, I'm not going to specify, so I'll just go ahead and take them off. Perfect. Next is custom order. So if I enable this, I have the opportunity to order my products according to the ID, date, name, title, comment count, and random. So if I choose random, it will just display my products randomly, and the order will either be descending or ascending. But I'm not going to use custom order, so I toggle it off. Next is content settings. In here, I can choose the style I want. So currently, it is using style 1. So I go ahead and drop down the arrow, choose style 2. So this is how style 2 will look like. It's very crowded. Let's see style 3. With style 3, the categories will be on top. Style 4. This one will go ahead and center my text. I want to use style 1. So in here, you have the option to hide the title, price, category. If there are ratings, you can also go ahead and hide them. I don't want to hide the title. I also need the price. And maybe I don't need the category. Maybe I don't need the categories as well as the rating. Awesome. Next is action button settings. I'm not going to do anything in here. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is slider option. The first thing under slider option is slider items, which is set to three. That's why we are seeing only three products. I'll make it four. Let's see how that looks. I think four is cool. 
maybe I can try five five is a little bit crowded okay I think four will be cool perfect you see that I have slider arrows in here from left and right because it is enabled here I can also go ahead and enable slider dots which will show right here so I can click on it to see my web next I go ahead and enable slider auto play and the auto play speed will be 3 seconds perfect awesome now I can enable pause on hover so that if I hover on any of the products the slider will stop perfect next is slider item to scroll currently it is set to 3 so if I make it 4 meaning 4 of my product will move in one slide so next is tablet that is for slider items so for tablet slider item is going to be 2 and slider items to scroll is also 2 and I think it is cool and for mobile it's going to be 1 for slider items as well as slider item to scroll so that's it for the slider options you can also go ahead and play with the style as well as the advanced options i'm not going to dive into any of them i just go ahead and update my changes let's go ahead and take a look at the preview awesome perfect let's see how it will auto slide awesome perfect now let's see how it will look like on a tablet view perfect so we have two in a slide awesome let's see how it will look on mobile awesome all right so that's it guys on how to create a product slider in elementor i hope this video was helpful if you found value kindly hit the like button subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that you miss out on future videos keep watching and i'll see you in the next one